Yo, what's down everybody? Welcome to this video. Today we have nine inbound trades. Now these aren't your boring small trades like 500 wrap for 500 wrap, okay? These are these are pretty big trades. These range from like 70,000 to like hundreds of thousands, okay? So this is gonna be pretty cool. Let's get started. The first trade, okay, is from this guy. And he wants my Dominus Prefectus, okay. The Dominus Prefectus before the Black Friday and the Cyber Monday sale was like, I think it was around like 145,000. And because of the sale, it dropped by 10,000, okay. So I don't really know if I wanna get rid of it yet. I kind of wanna wait for it to go back up to 145,000 and then I'll trade it. but. Let's check out this trade anyway. He's offering the, I don't know how to pronounce that, bro. The transient uh, harmonica. <laughs> Yo, what, what does transient even mean? Wait a minute. Transient ishmeg attack, what? Oh, lasting for only a short time. And the value of it is 35,000. The golden ho top hat of bling bling is around, it's like around nine to 10,000. And the immortal sword is around 22,000 to like 24,000. The immortal sword, in my opinion, is around like maybe 20,000, but recently it's been doing pretty good. As you see, it sold for 19,000. So it may reach like maybe 22,000. So I'll value the sword at around like 21,000. And then the beast mode, that right there is around 30,000. So let's take out the calculator. So let's take out the calculator. That is 35 plus 10 plus 21 plus 30. That is, okay, that is not even, okay, bye. That was such a bad deal. And the demand on those items weren't even that good either. The only good demand item was a beast mode. We have another trade here. This one has green text, meaning we have more wrap, but wrap doesn't really mean much, but it's just nice seeing the green. So let's open this up in three. Two, one, please be something good. Okay. Just looking at the wrap, the wrap itself is pretty decent, to be honest. It's 14,000 above my wrap, and, well, that's not bad. He's offering the Clockwork headphones, which are 95,000 value, and their wrap is pretty close to the value. It's 85,000, so that's why the wrap looks so good. And it's been doing not too good recently. It's been constantly selling for below the wrap, so I honestly don't really want these headphones, but recently, recently, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what? Recently it sold for 84,000 20 times. This is the clockwork headphones at the moment are projected, so that's like an automatic decline. Yo, they're projected. I don't want a projected item. You could tell that it's projected just by looking at the wrap chart. It could sell like maybe seven times, like three times, like three times for 60,000, but like <laughs> it all of a sudden sold for 84,000 20 times. It doesn't make sense. Somebody bought 20 of them for a really good price to increase the wrap of it. So I just declined that one. Now we have this one right here. What's it gonna be? Oh, he wants my clockwork shades. Okay, these were doing pretty good, but they kind of dropped. I, w I got too lazy to trade them off, but eh. They're still at a decent price, you know? It's not too bad. They're valued at around 250,000 to 260,000, so it's going to be a pretty big deal here. So this guy's offering the green ice crown, which has uh, not the best demand, but it's 45,000 value. Maybe it's like around 40 to 45,000 value. There's also the JJ5X5, which has some pretty decent demand, pretty good demand, and it's valued at around like 75,000. Then there's the Fuchsia Fantastique. And its demand is, eh, it's okay. And it's valued at around 135,000. And you know what time it is, it's time to calculate. So 135 plus 75 plus uh, around like uh, 35. So that's 245, that's 5K below like the Clockwork Shades value. So I'm going to decline this. Okay, okay, it's the same guy from before. The guy that offered like 96,000 for the Prefectus, so like, oh man, this guy's probably offering like another 96k for it. This guy doesn't know the value of it, and I could just tell. Okay, so the Prankster, is its demand is pretty good, and it's valued at around like 85,000. He also has a Recycled Cardboard Shades, which are around 12,000, pretty okay demand. The Blue Bubble Trouble, which has high demand, and that's valued at around like 17,000. Then there's the Rainbow Omega Fedora, that's a pretty small item, around like two, three thousand. Yeah, around three to three point five thousand. So let's add it up. I don't know what this voice is, but okay, let's continue. Okay, 85 plus 12 plus 17 plus three. Again, off by like, <laughs> off by a lot. I'm going to decline that. Here we go, here's the guy. His name is KM Sugar. Sugar is bad for you, okay? Okay, he wants my Prefectus. He's offering the projected clockwork headphones. I don't really want those, but hey, if the other items do add up to quite a lot, then I may accept it. So it's calculator time. We know that the clockwork headphones, I'm gonna value them at around like uh, 
80, okay, I'll just, they're 90k. The green band top hat, that is around like probably 9,000 perfectly, which is around like 5, and then there's that, I don't even know what item this is, what item is this? Dark star top hat, probably around 4,000. So nowhere near, nowhere near enough to get the Prefectus. Gotta decline that, that's not good enough. Okay, so this guy's offering on the JJ5X5, which is valued at 75,000, and he's offering the gold king of the knight crown, which is 12,000. Two perfectlys, which are around like they're valued at six thousand each, and the tattletail, which is forty-five thousand. It's calculator time. Forty-five plus six plus six plus twelve. That right there isn't even seventy k. So I've got to decline that. Another offer on the JJ five X five. So let's see. He's offering the dark seed the fallen, which honestly isn't even that high of. It, it's the man is pretty low to be honest. And Halloween just went by, so it's the man dropped even lower. He's also giving a Halloween head row, which is another Halloween item. So let's see, the wrap that he's giving is actually pretty decent, okay? 62,000, that's off by 13,000 from the value of JJ. So let's see, let's see, the Dark Sea of the Fallen is around like 28,000, plus he's giving the Telemon's Chicken Sue, which is around 20,000. The Black Valk Shades, I'm not even sure how much these are. Actually, you know what? The Dark Sea is probably around like 24,000, because since Halloween came along, it sort of rose it, but now it's dropping back down. So it's probably around like 24,000 plus the chicken suit, that's 20,000 plus the black Valk shades. These are around like maybe 13,000. And the Halloween head row, this right here is probably around like 15,000. So that right there is 72,000. That's not too bad to be honest, but at the same time, his items are not the best. They don't have the best demand. Plus, he's still off by 3k from getting the JJ. And JJ was around like 80 to 85,000 like a few weeks ago. So the JJ dropped. His items went up because of Halloween, so like, the Halloween items are probably gonna drop back down. The JJ, who knows, that might go back up, it might not. But at the same time, I don't really want to get Halloween items. And I, I like my high demand, so I'm going to be declining this. Whoop, whoop. Oh, yo, this guy wants my Sparkle Time Fedora, okay? I like the Sparkle Time Fedora, plus he's giving clockwork headphones, bro, those are projected. Whatever, let's see, so the Blue Steel Domino Crown is 170k, plus the clockwork headphones which are around like 90,000. So that is 260,000 and the Sparkle Time Fedora is valued at 280,000. So bro, he's off by 20,000, okay? Plus he's giving me a projected item. No, 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 no. That's not how trading works. I got to decline that. And right here is another trade. Oh, look. This is the exact same trade as the previous guy, but he's adding in more things. He's adding in these headsets, the and the spirited beanie. Both of these are around 8,000 each, so that's 170 plus 90 plus 8 plus 8. Which, if we minus the value of Sparkle Time Fedora, we're still losing 4,000 value. So it's still not even that good of a trade, plus the clockwork headphones aren't even good. They're projected. So I'm going to pass on this trade as well. Boom. So that is it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.